Hi folks, Pastor Dave Grisham here today with Official Street Preachers, and this is not a live video, this is pre-recorded. I want to do a series of these types of videos for the channel because there are some things that um, Christians might need uh, help with in terms of physical things. We talk a lot about spiritual things, but let's talk about some of the physical things too that Christians might need to do to... Um, get ready for the times that are coming. If we read our Bibles and we're watching the news, we know that difficult times are coming ahead. Now, one of the things that my family has gone through is a wildfire. Here, not too long ago, my son and daughter-in-law and five of our grandchildren had to flee a house that we owned a house and our house burned down. Um, they were actually living there. It was our house, but it was their home and they had to flee. One of the things that you should have on hand when it, it just in case you ever have to flee a natural disaster or some some other type of disaster, whether it's man-made or not, is a bug out bag. Now I did a video on the other channel about a bug out, about how to organize a bug out bag, and I'll redo that for this channel here. Today, what I want to show you is something that um you can add into your bug out bag, which is basically MREs. Now, now, MRE is a military meal. It's meal ready to eat, okay? It's a, basically a meal you can eat just right out of the package or with the cold weather ones, the, they're freeze dried and you just add hot water and let it soak and then bingo, you've got food. Those are expensive, they're very expensive, and I don't know. I was in the military for six years, and I'll tell you, I ate a lot of those things. And you know what? They're horrible. Okay, let's just let's just be honest. They don't taste very good. They're bad. So today, I want to show you how to make homemade MREs that you can add to your bug out bag or your evacuation bag, whatever you want to call it, a a God bag, get out a Dodge bag, and. Um, I want to show you how you can go to the grocery store and you can actually buy some things and make your own MRE, okay? Make a homemade MRE, cheaper and custom tailored for your taste and everything in it you're going to like because you're going to buy it. You're going to pick it out. You're going to buy it. You're going to add it in. And if you don't like it, it's your fault, right? So it's not just going to be something you're stuck with. And it's gonna, and it's not gonna be some horribly mass-produced military thing that just, you know, you have to choke it down. And, oh, I need the, the nutrients, you know, and you're just gonna choke it down. You have to gag trying to get it down. Some of this stuff is really bad. Okay, I've eaten those things. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to pack your homemade MRE. So, this is our MRE bag. Now, this is just an example, okay? This is a one-gallon freezer Ziploc bag. You can use a smaller bag. Ideally, what you would do is you would take whatever I'm going to show you to add to this as some examples, and you would put it into a plastic bag, and you would vacuum seal it. And that would seal it all up so nothing scatters, nothing rattles around, nothing gets busted, and everything uh, is right there when you need it, Okay? So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some food to add to this, okay? Now, what you want to start off with is an entree. You want to decide what you want to have as an entree. Now, military MREs are what's called retort packages. They're retort pouches. And what they're designed for is they're designed to fit into a cargo pocket on the pants of a soldier, so their, their design criteria for that is whatever it is that they make, it has to fit inside a certain specific size so it'll fit into a cargo pocket. You may or may not necessarily have that requirement for yourself. And the entree, the, the on, they have limited entrees, limited menus. And so you get like an A and a B in terms of cases. And the case, well, a case of 12, it's got so many of this menu and the case number B has got so many of these menus. 
And the soldiers trade them back and forth because sometimes they don't like them and other people are like, oh yeah, I hate the Chili Mac or I love the Chili Mac or whatever. And they trade it back and forth. So what you want to do is you want to start off with an entree, something that you want to eat as your main source of protein and carbs to give you energy to keep you going. Now, I've got some examples here of civilian-made retort packages of stuff that you can readily add to uh, your MRE, okay? Like this one here. Let's start with this one. This is Market Street chili and beans, okay? Chili with beans, premium chili with beans. Now, this is going to cost you probably two and a half dollars. A, a really, a, realistically, a military MRE is going to cost you over ten dollars. This is going to cost you a couple of bucks for your. This is your entree for one meal. Actually, probably it says here actually two people could eat this. So this might be actually two meals. If you could find this smaller if for an individual, that would be great. But but this is actually quite a bit of food in here. And so this is ready-made chili with beans. Now you can warm this up by heating up some hot water and dipping it into it, or you can let it lay out in the sun and let it heat up in the sun and eat it warm like that, or you can just eat it right out of the bag. That's the good thing about retort packages is they're like canned goods, but they're lighter. They last just as long as a canned good would, essentially, as long as the package is not breached as long as there's not a tear in it or anything like that, then you're good to go. And these are easy tear off. You see there's a little notch right here. You can either cut it off with a knife or you can just peel it off. And this will give you, now if you want to make your own, your own entree, there's other things you can do. For instance, let's say you wanted to make something with beans. This is Instant refried beans, Southwest style instant refried beans. Now this package here is a, is a is a vacuum sealed package, but these are refried. De, uh, I guess they're de either dehydrated or freeze dried. I think they're freeze dried. So these will last essentially forever. Okay. So if you have a winter bag and you don't want it to freeze like this, this can freeze. So you want, this would be a summer thing. This could be like a winter thing, okay? And then you add to it. You would have to add meat to this. So what kind of meat would you want to add? Well, they got lots of different kinds. Look here. Starkist, Smart Bowls, pasta and beans with tuna. Now that's a complete meal right there. See, and this is, this would not be a winter one, but you could add this to beans if you wanted to, or if you could find a retort package with beef in it. Okay, this one happens to be tuna. You got another here that's pink salmon. Okay, you got another one here that's chicken. So you can add this chicken to the refried beans. And, and this package is so big, you'd want to take some of these out and vacuum seal them into like an individual uh, portion. And this would be an individual portion. And you would put something like this and the beans into your bag. Or you could go with single serving spam. This is ham. So you could go with beef, chicken, fish, ham. This is basically a pork product. Okay. This stuff lasts essentially forever. It's got a lot of salt in it. So if you have a, a diet that requires salt-free or low sodium, you'll have to look for one of these that has says less sodium, or you'll have to pick another option that doesn't have so much salt in it. But this has quite a bit of salt in it, but it also helps preserve it for a long period of time. So let's start building a bag. Let's just put together something that we're going to say, okay, all right, we're going to go with the we're going to go with the chili with beans. It's already got our meat. It's already got our beans in it. Okay? And we're going to put this right inside the bag. All right. Now we have an entree. Right? There we go. We have an entree. Now, there are other entree options available, like these completes. These are like cans, but they're lighter. They're plastic. 
and they come in different varieties. The only problem is, is they're a little thick. They're not thin. So that's the only issue with these. But these, you open them up, it's like a can, and then you can eat right out of it. Or you can put it in some hot water or set it out in the sun, like I said, and you can heat it up that way. So you can add, uh, put this in there instead of this. We're just choosing this as an example today, okay? So there's lots of different entree choices. Now let's say, you know, that's not quite enough. I'd like to have some mashed potatoes with that. Well, here's some Idahoan instant mashed potatoes that comes in these nice bags. And you just add boiling water to this and bingo, it turns into mashed potatoes. So you could have chili with mashed potatoes or you could have spam with mashed potatoes. Uh, you could have pasta and beans with mashed potatoes. So we're gonna add this in there as our secondary thing, okay? That's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with the potatoes. Now we could go with rice. These are fully cooked, but they're sealed in these packages. You could add this in there instead of mashed potatoes and get your carb, instead of the mashed potatoes, you can get your carbs through the rice. And it comes in different flavors. Like, like here you've got uh, four cheese, that looks pretty good. They come in all different kinds of flavors. This is uh, Ben's Originals. These are already cooked. You could technically eat them right out of the bag if you had to, rather than warming up. Now, this one is uh, organic quinoa and brown rice. So if you prefer the organic stuff, you can find these too. These are retort packages where everything is contained in here. So basically, you've got quinoa and brown rice that you, want to, that you could go with your meat. So if you don't want mashed potatoes in here, you can go with this, okay? Remember, we're now we're preparing a bag for a meal. Now, if you're looking for something for breakfast, you know, here's something you can do. These instant oatmeal packets. This one happens to be peaches and cream. I like this one. You can buy these in variety boxes. Uh, you can buy them in uh, individual boxes that have all one flavor. You can, if, if this is not enough, this is about a half a cup right here. If it's not enough for you, you can use two packages and you can tear it off and you can actually add hot water right in the bag and then just eat it out of there with a spoon, okay? So that could be your breakfast. Let's add a breakfast to our bag. Now, so far, we've achieved about $4 here, about $4 worth of stuff, okay? Now, what if you want something between meals, something quick, maybe it's cold, you need to warm up. Well, Lipton Soup Secrets. These are instant chicken flavor noodle soups, individual packages. They don't, it doesn't matter if they freeze or not. These are great for winter or summer, you know. And if you have a thermos or you have some other container, you can add hot water to it, put this in there, stir it up. You can't mix it in this bag, but you can stir it up in another container and bingo, you have a soup. So now well, we add about another 75 cents to the cost of the bag. Now, let's go for something uh, like fruit. Maybe you want a fruit snack. How about dried apricots? You can take these and add them in another small package if you don't want to use all of them, one whole bag for your deal, it'd be too bulky. So you just add just a few of them in a little bag and you can vacuum seal them and stick them in there. So you could have fruit. All these things you can get at the grocery store. And by the time you figure up what the price is of taking each individual one of these things, you're going to end up with something that's less expensive than an actual MRE and it's going to be suited to your taste. Okay. Now, let's, um, let's look at other snacks. Maybe you want other snacks in there. You can always go with cracker type snacks like this. But these crush easily, so you gotta be careful with crackers. You can go with uh, crackers like this. They also make peanut butter and jelly things in small deals like you can get at restaurants that you could put in there and you could squeeze it on the cracker, you know? 
You can save that from the next time you go to a restaurant. Or fruit snacks. These last a long time. They're really good, and you can buy them in bulk, and each individual packet is just a few pennies. They're not very expensive. You can put those in there. How about a strawberry pastry snack? 100 calories, strawberry pastry, or a kind bar. These are very common. These last a pretty good while. This is peanut butter, and it's a good snack. We're going to add this one to our bag. And then just for good measure, we're going to put a cheese stick in there, and we're going to put a Slim Jim in there. These, you can buy these individually or buy them in bulk. And cheese and sealed in this plastic does not have to be refrigerated. It'll last a long time. These will last for several years, too. These are You'll, be, you'll know if these are bad because they'll, they'll turn funny colors. You'll see them through the plastic. But we're going to add those in there. Now, you might want something to spice up your drinks, right? You, want, you don't want to drink just plain water. Folgers makes these nice little individual. Now, I don't drink this stuff because this is coffee. I don't drink coffee. Some people question my salvation over that. But I don't drink coffee. So, But Folgers makes these little packets of instant coffee. So you can add an individual one to the bag. So we're going to add this to the bag. Maybe you like tea also. You can throw a couple of tea bags in there if you want to. Okay, they have individual packets of hot chocolate mix. If it's winter time, you could add something like that in there. There are these drinks that have sugar in them. These Zuko drinks. Uh, I think this one's pineapple and this one's mango. Yeah. And so this will actually make more than just one canteen full. These will actually make about, I think each package will make about three canteen fulls. So you can just pour a little in there and then just, you know, uh, wrap, roll up the bag and stick it back in there. Uh, and uh, you can actually get about three uses out of each one of these. These are nice drink mixes, but they have sugar. If you want to go sugar free, you can go with something like Weiler's Light, Sunkiss. They got them in different flavors. Walmart has their great value. This one is strawberry watermelon. They come in individual packets inside, and you add that to your canteen. We're just going to take one of these sugar free ones. And we're going to add it in here. Now, you get all different kinds of cheeses for snacks, too. They come in different shapes, like this one. If you prefer one that's not like the other one, you get this one. And another snack would be a granola bar. You could put that in there, but we're not going to put that in there today. Now, if you want some extra spice in your life, make sure to include in your bug out bag uh, this little item. I got this at Walmart. This has seven different spices in it that you can add to your food. It has salt, black pepper, garlic salt, cayenne, curry, and paprika. And I think they come with different ones. So you can actually look at different ones and see which one you like. So you can add this to your bug out bag and it'll help people psychologically if they have to flee they're in a disaster situation and they have to and you know you're stopping to eat somewhere trying to get someplace you can grab you know take the bug out bag grab meal out of it give everybody a meal and the spice will help liven things up a bit it just makes it a little better psychologically uh, for people so here you have your homemade MRE now in here you've got an entree you got some mashed potatoes. You have a thing of soup. You've got some snacks. You got uh, cheese, beef stick. Uh, we're gonna add a. We got a coffee added in there. Let's add one of these drink mixes. Where's the Zuko drink mixes? Here we go. We're gonna add one of those too. A drink mix. Now, this is about the same size as an actual MRE, and that will actually fit into a cargo pocket. If you vacuum seal this, if you put it in plastic and actually vacuum seal it, then it'll be even more compact because you'll take a lot of that excess air out of there. And it'll also help preserve this stuff a little bit better. So even if you added a little bit of the fruit in here, so you could have fruit, actual fruit to go with your meal. So, you know, you could have your entree, mashed potatoes, 
Then later on, you could have soup, or before that, between meals, you could have soup. And then you got your drink mixes, and, and you got a, some snacks in here. And like I said, if you vacuum seal this, now bingo, this becomes a homemade MRE, a meal ready to eat. Now, there are some other things that come in the MRE that I did not put in here. Uh, generally, I keep those separate in, in a bug out bag. But you could put them in here. I'm talking about a little bit of toilet paper, some handy wipes, uh, some gum. Uh, they put little tiny bottles of Tabasco, and I don't know where you get those. I have not found those at the grocery store. They have the tiny little bottles of Tabasco. But if you've got your spices, you're okay with that. You're okay. Um, they, they also have um, uh, matches, things like that in there. So in a bug out bag, I keep all of that stuff separate. You don't necessarily have to have all of that. Although, you know, you could throw uh, some of those little uh, tablets. Uh, they're compacted little cloth tablets and you add water to them and they expand and you can use them for wipes. You can use them for toilet paper. You can use them for different variety of things. So you could throw some of those in there. They're very light, very small. Don't take up a lot of space. You could throw in a couple of sticks of gum. Uh, it, just the thing, and a little, and like I said, salt and pepper. You can actually get get little Parmesan pepper pack or Parmesan packets or red pepper packets, like you get when you order pizza, and they have save those little packets, and you can add those to your homemade MREs. And so this is how you can build an actual MRE for about five bucks, six bucks. Save yourself four or five dollars for each one. And now you've got a ready-made emergency meal package all together that you can put in your bug out bag. And it's something you know you're going to eat. It's something you're actually going to like. You can try all these things out before. You can buy them individually test them out, see how they work, how do they taste. And if you don't like them, throw them out. You don't buy any more like that. Buy something else. But you can customize your own MREs this way so that when you build your bug out bag, you can build it cheaper and you can customize it for your dietary needs and for your personal tastes. So anyway, thought I'd make this little video for you today and show you this kind of thing, help you out a little bit. So if you want to build your own MRE, a homemade MRE, now you know how to do it from the grocery store where it won't cost you as much and it'll be customized for your dietary needs and your personal tastes. All right, God bless you guys. And remember, the most important thing to take in your bug out bag is your Bible. God bless you all. You have a good day.